What's up, YouTube? All right, so I'm back with another video. Um, Post-operative, seven weeks, actually six weeks and about five days from my arthroscopic surgery and the removal of calcium deposits in the rotator cuff, decompression, uh, cleaned up some bone spurs, and uh, it's it's you know about seven weeks now post surgery. Um, so right now I would say that my range of motion from a month from my last video has definitely improved. I can do things easier. Um, I can put a Q-tip in my ear. I can. I could kind of get my hand up on my head to mess with my hair. Like if I was shaving my head like I normally do, I would have to do it all with the left arm, which was a pain in the ass. So I could get it in the right hand now and do a little bit of the side. So I feel like some range of motions are getting better. Um, physical therapy though, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling physical therapy. Uh, I've went about five times so far. Um, and it's the same, same two things, every single physical therapy. Uh, they warm me up with a heating pad, then they um, lay me on my back, and they have the therapist will do passive range of motion for external rotation. They'll basically take my arm and you know move it like this, uh, and then he'll take it and he'll put pressure with his body like on the shoulder, like up here. Like he'll put pressure with his arm like on the shoulder, and then he'll run me back like this. Extremely painful and. I'm talking very, very, very painful, uh, and I don't feel like the range of motion is opening up at all. Um, maybe like this much from the first time I went. Uh, so something's going on there that I'm not too happy about. The doctor said he wants to give it another six weeks, see how I progress. Um, so it's only been like you know six weeks at that point. So he wants to see me in another six weeks would be about. January 2019. He's hoping by then, you know, the arm should loosen up. Um, he said at this point, I shouldn't be having that much pain. He's like, I should definitely be stiff, but I shouldn't be having that much pain. Like it's pain. Like it's, it's the arm does not want to go back anymore. And if the physical therapist pushes on it to try to make it go a little bit more, which he doesn't do, I tell him like, dude, I can't take, I can't take that pain. So he doesn't do it. But it hurts, so I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know if, you know, being in a sling for so long, I developed some sort of frozen shoulder, maybe. Um, even before the surgery, my arm could never get back there. You know, so my shoulder hasn't seen that range of motion in over a year. It, it just, it's like a, it's like a gray spot back there. It just hasn't seen that area in so long. So I don't know if like the body and the mind just doesn't know how to take it back there without, you know, guarding itself. Cause I'm still, you know, when he has my arm, he has to tell me a thousand times, relax your arm, you know, just, just let it be dead in my hand. Then it's hard, my arm doesn't want to just relax. And I can see muscles tensing up on the back and everything. I've developed a little bit of um, winged scapula. Like my, my scapula kind of sticks out like a little chicken wing back there. And when I lay flat on like a hard floor and put some weight on the scapula and push it into the body, like I could feel like pain up here, you know, as the back of the scapula is moving, everything else is moving with it and I feel like some pain. I don't know, I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit worried at this point. Um, you know, I compare my injury to other videos on YouTube and I see people putting their hands over their head and stuff, I'm like, damn, I ain't nowhere even close to that. You know, so I'm kind of nervous. I've been going to the gym and doing legs and I've been working out this arm. Um, and I've been trying to do things with the arm, you know, but there's like a thin line between maybe doing too much and aggravating it and not doing enough where you're, you're not moving it enough and it's gonna not, the stiffness isn't gonna get any better. So I don't know the, I don't know what is the point where it's too much. Um, I ice it every day still. Um, Ice, I just, it just feels really good with ice. Um, pain actually now seems to be a little bit worse than it was throughout the first month. Probably because I'm just using it more and it's just sore throughout the day. Sleeping is better. Um, I, I literally passed out the other day, like, fine, well, once I finally passed out, I was out. 
Um, I still take some Advil PMs at night. It kind of helps me fall asleep. Um, but now that I have the sling off and everything, like I'm sleeping in a more comfortable position. I still do find my arm get sore though in the middle of the night, which kind of bums me out, but it's probably just in a, a weird position. So that would, you know, it's in a position at night where it would bother me if I wasn't sleeping. So, but yeah, that's about it. So I could show you my range of motion. I'm probably gonna be a little bit stiff now, obviously, because I had ice on my shoulder. <clears throat> So we could get out of this. Uh, so like, I can do all this stuff with my bad arm now, like throw this ice pack on the ground. I couldn't do that before. I wouldn't even use the arm before. Um, yeah, so what I got now, you know, doing my shrugs. If I go too high on shrugs, it hurts. Like I can feel like a twinge in there. Uh, out to the side. And if you look at my body, you could tell how, I don't know, it just, it, it just doesn't look um, symmetrical anymore. Obviously this side is, you know, has lost a lot of muscle, chest, back, shoulder, arm, everything. So I guess that's probably why, but it just looks weird to me when I do it. But you raise it up to the side. Now this arm can come straight up. My, this arm's got about this comfortably. That's about comfortable. I can't go all the way up with this arm either, but no pain. This arm is about right here right now. So what is that, 90 degrees? This feels great. No pain through here, this feels really good. But right here, thinking about going above it, not on my own right, I wouldn't be able to do it myself. I probably could push through the pain, which I'm not gonna do. And if I had someone bring it up for me, passively, I could probably get it a little bit more. Um, you know, going forward, again, this arm straight up, real nice. This arm, about 90 right there. That's where I'm at. You know what I mean? This is the point where I start to feel pain if I was to try to go above it. Um, now when I do the finger walking, like up a wall, like I, I can't really, I don't have anything to do it. But like I can literally like finger walk my shoulder to like this point. And it feels pretty good. But coming up, yeah, that's about it. My problem is the external rotation doing this when I, you know what I mean? So we do that. Like this feels real stiff in here, real stiff. Now again, I just had ice on, so I'm probably actually a little bit more stiff for this video. Come down. Not much pain in there, but it's like I'm really baiting it. You know what I mean? <sighs> so. I could do like this, it's pretty stiff. I don't know, you know, I'm very impatient. I wanna just be better after my surgery. Like, you're gonna go through this surgery, you're gonna go through all this time after your surgery, you want to feel better after the surgery, and I feel like I don't feel better yet. And you know, and some people are like, oh, it's only six weeks, dude, give it some more time. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but sometimes I just worry that I'm gonna go through all this shit and I'm not gonna be better. So, trying to stay positive, but it's not easy to stay positive when the progression is super slow. Um, so the doctor wants to see me again in six weeks. That'll be January. For now, I'm just going to stick with physical therapy every two weeks. Uh, like, again, I feel like the physical therapy, though, like doing the external rotation really hurts. He has me squeeze like a grip thing. I mean, my grip strength is fine. I, I feel like that's just wasting my time. Um, but it's only like, he does this move, he, he, he moves my arm up and that's it. And then I go and I do some exercises. I squeeze the thing and I do some doorway stretches. I don't know. Uh, so that's all that is for now. So that's about it. So, um, I guess I'll check back, uh, you know, a couple more weeks or whenever I make a breakthrough again here, uh, where I feel better. Um, so I'm not working. I'm still out of work. Um, you know, the disability claim is for six months, so I guess I'm just going to ride that out for now. Uh, I can't, I wouldn't be able to drive a tractor trailer anyway. There's absolutely no way I would be able to sit in a truck like this all day, driving around New Jersey and New York City, bumping around and turning a steering wheel. There's just no way. Um, but, uh, other than that, it's 
seven weeks. So catch up with you next time.